Welcome to another episode of Wayne's World Fishing guys. Today I'm down the river. You've seen me down here before, so I've popped down here for a few hours. Why? Because I'm after a target species. And what's that species? Perch. They are by far my favourite little fish. Now I came here a few episodes ago, as you saw, which was perch on a drop shot. Now, perch on a drop shot is a great method, but it's not the greatest one I've ever used. It's good, it produces, but my favourite I'm going to be using today. First of all, let me show you what I'll be using to catch my bait. Exactly. It's an old school method. Some people aren't too happy about it, but hey ho, the old ways sometimes are the best ways, and that is using live bait. I know, I know, some people don't like the sound of that, but I'm afraid sometimes it's just the best way of doing it. Now, perch, they love a few things, let me tell you. Perch will go crackers for red maggots, worms, perch spinners, and little plugs. But what they love most of all, is live minnows or small roach or little tiny fry, anything like that on a hook. Look, I've seen in my own eyes that I see them fighting over them. So, what I'll be using today is I've got a match rod set up just to catch my live bait, and also I've got a tiny little uh, pike rod here, which just in case, uh, because you're going for perch, you're obviously catching pike are quite high because you use basically the same techniques for pike. So, um, yeah, just in case, I've gone a bit heavy, I know, for perch, but. As I said, it's just in case I catch a bit bigger or a jack pike or something like that. So, any hoo-ha. Now, I'm not a big fan, as you all know, of uh, barbed hooks. But when it comes to this rig, you have to use barbed hooks. Why, I hear you say? Well, the reason is, when you put a little minnow or you put a little uh, a fry on the hook, a live fry, they wriggle around like mad. And um, they will wriggle themselves off with a, a barbless hook. So unfortunately, you have to use barbed, but I've used semi-barbed, size 6 semi-barbed hooks today. I'm not sure if you can see this, I'm going to have to come up to the camera to show you my little setup. Okay guys, I'll show you my setup. It's easier if I just get that out of the way so you know where I'm going with this. Okie dokie. Right, there, you've got the size... I think it is size six um, micro barb or semi barbed hook, and that's to a piece of 20 pound trace. Why a trace for a perch? Because you don't really need trace for perch. But as I said, the odds of you catching a pike are bloody high. So um, always trace up, guys. It's only fair on the fish because if you snag a pike, and obviously you'll get off if it's just mono or nylon or anything like that, or even braid, um, the odds of even snapping off are high. And um, it's not fair, the fish will be swimming around with a hook in its mouth for the next few days. And it comes up to the box standard swivel, and yeah, I've got braid on there. Don't ask, it's just the only spool. I forgot to put another spool in my um, bag, so it's the only spool I've got, 15 pound braid. I know it's a bit heavy. Anyway, that's the terminal, the business end. I've got a little pike float, the smallest pike float I think money can buy, really. It's absolutely tiny, absolutely shot it up to the max at the bottom, as you can see, and a tiny little... Uh, uh, a stopper uh, weight at the top just to keep it where it is that's about four foot in total it's not it is a very deep bit of river here but at the same time um, I don't need to go very deep uh, because here as I say there's weeds just just here I know there's a lily pad here but I mean it's submerged today but I know that there's lilies and stuff like that and there's a lot of weeds where the perch like to hide at it's deep it's dark perch love that so the pike as I said be careful guys I warned you the odds of you catching a pike are bloody high right what I need to do now is catch the bait, which is more fun than, than probably catching the perch. So let me crack on, catch some bait, little uh, fry or minnows and stuff like that, and then um, I'll stick one on the hook and we'll see if we actually get ourselves a decent perch for a change. Right guys, let's crack on, because I'll tell you what, the sun's going down, that's something I can't control. So, you know what I say, if them fish are biting, get fishing. Brings brand new bobs when you fight and you die. Flip the switches, turn off gauges, we dance in 
So here are the bait. I've had a bit of luck. I've gone and caught myself a few little, uh, I think I've got a roach in there and I've got myself a, a mainly bleak I think now. And let me grab one for you. That's the roach of all the bloody fish. What? <laughs> Slippery little fellas. They're only small fish guys. Really small little fish. Oh, a couple of ounces each if that. There's a few of them in here. I've got five or six of them. Perfect. That is perfect pipe, uh, perch bait. He, what you'll do is hook him in the mouth there and uh, as I say because it's barbless he shouldn't wriggle off and because that hook, that um, th that float is quite a heavy float um, he shouldn't pull it under but when a perch does take it you will see an indication on the float okay so anyway let's hook one of these little guys up and put him back out there and see if we have ourselves a perch I'm sorry mums and dads anyway if you've got kiddies watching it's just the way of the world I'm afraid they eat the maggots and then the perch eat them and then the pike eat the perch and welcome to Wayne's world of uh, uh, natural history, as I <laughs> Right, brilliant. Thank right, you. Right, guys. As I said, as I feared, first fish pike. Oh, no! Oh, no! He's come off. It was huge. Well, I said it was huge. It's about six pounds, seven pounds. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, well. Not to worry. Am I gutted? Just a fucking bit. Oh, that would have been a good pike as well to show you guys. Never mind, there's plenty more where they came from, I'm sure. So, uh, I am upset though, guys. That was a nice pike. You saw the bend in the rod there, he kind of took me for a ride. Look at that, he's totally messed me up, but hey ho. Right, let's get cracking on. There's fish in here, I told you. Not perch, more pike. Anyways, well, guys, next. I've caught another fish, but this time it's not as big as the pike I had before, but it's a pike nevertheless. It's the smallest jack pike I think I've ever caught. No, it's not. It's not the smallest jack pike by far. Nevertheless, a pike, a little bugger come straight up and had that. Yeah, hold on. Let me see if I can grab him. Yeah. Look at that, guys. <laughs> Woo! Don't say I don't catch pike. Right, guys. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not a blanker. World's smallest little bite. Oh, nevertheless, cracking looking little fish. And anyway, I put him back, but he's not a bad size. Not as big as that one I had before. I wish I'd caught that one. That's probably his mummy anyway. Let's put him back, the little bugger, and we'll see if we can catch some, well, not so much more pack, jack pike, but some more perk, nevertheless. Oh well, fish is fish, eh? Right, guys, I swear to God, this ain't the same jack pike from before. This is a different one. Okay, I can assure you this is a different one. <laughs> this river seems to be full of these little buggers. So that's the second one, but no perch. I thought it was a perch, because that was a small. Let me chuck him back. Guys. Oh, right, I just put that jack pike in, and literally a couple of meters away from me, I've just saw this massive pike just jump out of the water. Just so it's huge. I don't, it's obviously not the one from earlier, but it's not far off its size. You reckon I've got it in me to catch it? I mean, I'm here for perch, but if I can catch a nice pike like that, why not? Anyway, I'll give it a go. If the camera comes on again and I'm screaming my head off, you know I hooked it. Because you know what they say? Well, what I say anyway. They're biting. Keep fishing. But it's all fishing. Stay tuned for more. Right guys, that's two pike, well, make that three, well, two and a half, because I didn't land a lot, the first one, the big one, um, but no perch, I came down here for perch, I'm using these little uh, minnows as bait, and these jack pike are gobbling them up, 
Uh, as I said though, I can hear one splashing like literally a few yards away from me. So I'm going to try and chuck one out there and hope if I get one, if you get it rather. But it's in a load of weeds, so you never know, it might snag me up, but it's worth a shot. Um, but really, I was after the uh, perch, but you never know, still got time, still could have some perch yet. So, anyways, fish are biting, so keep fishing. Wayne's World Fishing, stay tuned for more fish action. Let's go. Guys, I've seen the pike. He's just taken my roach. As I was reading it in, he took it off me. Bit the tail first. It's quite a big one. It's got to be between five, maybe ten pounds between that. I'm not saying he's five or ten, he's between it, I reckon. Possibly sevens or eights. Nevertheless, it's a big pike. I knew he was in that corner just down there, splashing about chasing the fry. Anyway, he's just darted out and had my last roach. I've had to run back, catch a couple of roach, um, and come back to this swim. And the problem with that is, it's been about five or ten minutes, so he might have moved out to swim now. But I saw him in my own eyes, guys, come in the shallows and take that roach. It's a big old lump. I'm going to try it. Anyway, if he's still in the swim, I'll try and catch him. If not, at least we're out, eh? Stay tuned. More Wayne's World. Well guys, that's the end of another episode, I'm afraid. I'm giving it my best shot. I didn't have any perch. I landed two jack pike and I let two massive pike get away. They were huge. I will be back for those fish. They were good fish. The first one that I hooked but got off, trust me guys, that was good fish. That was a good fish. So I will be back for him. But unfortunately, time is against me now guys. The sun is going down and um, I thought I'd crack on get a video in during the week because this weekend I'm not about so don't say I don't put go all out for you guys at Wayne's World Fishing hope you enjoyed the episodes guys don't forget subscribe please subscribe leave comments you know the more subscriptions the more comments the more I know I'm doing it right but anywho hi guys I've got to get going before it gets too dark and I end up losing all my tackle because I can't see it I haven't got a torch so I'll see you around next time and don't want all like always guys I'll catch you later. It's kind of a catchphrase I've got going on. Wayne's well fishing.